everyone. Thanks for stopping by Spiritually Speaking. I am enchanted and I deliver guided intuitive messages directly from the divine. So this video I'm doing is because in my meditation and throughout this um, previous week, which is the week of uh, May 5th through the 10th or the 11th, um, it's been on my spirit that um, someone is being spiritually stalked. So if this message resonates with you, give the video a thumbs up. If I resonate with you, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos that I upload and if I don't subscribe if I don't resonate with you there are plenty other beautiful readers here on YouTube for all of you that have subscribed to my channel thank you so much for all of your support your likes shares and subscriptions I greatly appreciate that let's get into this reading really quick though talk about being spiritually stopped okay so the messages that i've been getting this week is that someone is attempting to leave someone is attempting to walk away and someone is attempting to keep someone stagnant okay someone is attempting to walk away and someone is attempting to keep someone stagnant and because i'm picking up on the energy of the overall collective what i'm getting is that you could have been in a relationship or you could be um this could be your job however the scenario or the situation applies to you right so what i'm getting is that you um are attempting to leave a situation but something is keeping you there see we have the star and the page of air all right so this is the stalker card or the card or getting more information spying um just getting more information right keeping it here in the logic in the mind so what i'm getting is that um be aware of your surroundings not to cause any um emotions of fear or anything like that but definitely be aware of your surroundings it came out again the page of air the page of sword i'm gonna keep this right here all right because this is the overall theme of the reading all right so someone is definitely being spiritually stopped you're attempting to leave a situation or someone is attempting to leave a situation and someone wants to keep someone stagnant all right if this applies to you in a love manner what i'm getting is that you've had enough of the situation you've had enough right and you want to leave the situation but someone wants to keep um, hold of you energetically they're energetically stalking you or spiritually stalking you you may find that you've been dreaming about this person you may find that you've been thinking about this person daydreaming about this person or what have you let's see what spirit has to say all right chair's a little squeaky so excuse me we've got the ten of sword coming out here this is some deep, deep situations. We've got the Ten of Swords coming out. And we've got the Ten of Earth coming out, okay? So what I'm getting here is that someone is attempting to... Um, and we've got the page of earth okay so with two pages and two tens here what i'm saying is that you could have received some money earth sign you could have received some money or air sign okay i feel that it is the air sign of you know the energies are interchangeable here what i'm getting is that you know you could have received some monies or some sort of just do with two tens here the ten of earth and the ten of sword wow the page of air and the page of pentacles okay so these are messages that are coming through um again so i you're being energetically stopped someone you know you're posting something on social media or something like that um cards are sticking to the desk as well that's weird what i'm getting is that you know spirit is saying be careful of your surroundings be careful of your environment be careful of the information that you're giving out of the information that you're posting on social media that's what is coming through right now um you're being energetically stalked someone is spiritually stalking you um because it has something to do with some sort of financial gain okay and your balances have been restored back to your financial situations if it has not it will be all right because there's news all right there's news of monies here there's news of monetary gain there's news of the coin falling in your direction here all right you have the page of earth and the ten of pentacles it's so and i'm getting like a sense of urgency so this happened fast and maybe you're posting something on social media and they're gonna try to communicate with you is what i'm getting here they definitely want to reach out okay they definitely want to reach out to you yeah 
seven of wands here, but you're like, mm -mm, could have been an Aries Leo Sagittarius. All the signs that are present, fire, Aries Leo Sagittarius, um, Aquarius Libra Gemini, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You're not having it at all, period. Yep. Yep. We've got the Queen of Rods coming out in the Ten of Pentacles again. Like, you could be an air sign. I mean, you could be a fire sign, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, you can have these monies coming to you. We have the Ten of Pentacles coming out again. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, all right, because you're not feeling it this time. You're like, nope, I've been through my storm. This is my just do. These are my blessings that I'm reaping. This is your energy here, and this is their energy here. Wow. This is like some sneaky backstabbing type of conniving energy here. And you're not falling for it because you fell for it before. And you learned your lesson. And that's why you're receiving your blessings. And that is so beautiful. Is nothing more beautiful than receiving your blessings. Look, at the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles in reverse. Because I'm not strategizing with you. I'm not sharing my coins with you. I am not going into a partnership with you. I am not building with you because I tried that it did not work you were on some sneaky backstabbing type of stuff because this is sneaky backstabbing energy here with the ten of sword coming out aquarius libra gemini however these signs apply to you all right so what i'm seeing here is a brand new beginning all right what i'm seeing is cycles and rhythms what i'm hearing is cycles and rhythms and that there's a brand new beginning spirit wants you to be very careful of the information that you're posting online your social media your text messages or something like that if you receive like a weird message that says like download something or for like reward points or something like that be a little cautious of that don't send out any codes don't download anything if you get like a text message um don't download any Thing on your phone be very careful because someone is going to use some sort of software is what I'm saying here someone is going to use some sort of software to try to get through to you or something like that y'all let me fix my bang baby Ooh. be careful with the information that you guys are posting online is all that I can say because someone is definitely watching you. They're watching you physically, but it's from afar. It's from a distance. Okay. You know, for some of you, you know, this person, for some of you, you don't know this person. Um, for others of you, you know, this person through other people, there's a preconceived notion that's here as well. Um, and for others of you, this is someone that you definitely know, but they're stalking you spiritually or energetically. All right, let's see what else the story has to tell. Thank you, Spirit God, for angels. I didn't want to shuffle. We've got the three of sword for some of you. This is definitely an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini here. This is definitely some sort of heartbreak. For some of you, someone broke your heart. You've actually healed is what I'm feeling. This is healing. You've gone through the healing process here, and you're getting your just due, and they feel that spiritually, energetically, and they are um, trying to keep you bound, like by the wounds. Bound by the wounds is what I'm hearing, and it doesn't make sense. Oh, excuse me. It didn't make sense the first time I heard it. Bound by the wounds. That is so messed up. Why would anyone want to keep you bound by the wounds? Especially if they love you. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like I got to put my hoodie on for this one, okay? Because this is deep, y'all. All right, let me cover up my crown. And that's how y'all need to be when y'all are out and about. I know it's a little hot or whatever, and I know you want to be cute. But put your little cute head wrap on. My fellas do the same thing. Because, you know, it's very important that you're keeping your crown chakra um, 
covered when you're around certain people, when you're in stagnant places. These are the messages that's been coming through for me all week long. Holy smackaroni. You won't believe it. You will not believe it. You got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles coming out again. The Page of Pentacles, the Page of Earth, and the pa and the Ten of Pentacles. How much more clear can this be? You have an abundance here waiting on you, an abundance here coming to you. Okay, do you see that? Okay, if you haven't got the message, I'm here telling you this, expect it. But let this energy go here. All right, let this go. For some of you guys, you're absolutely guarded. That's why those cards are coming out in reverse. This is, listen, go ahead and activate your hand, your pop, your hand chakras, your palm chakra. Activate them. Get you a crystal if you don't have a crystal. I keep something on me, okay? If you don't have a crystal, get your crystal and just, you know, rub it in a circular direction until you feel the tingling in all of your fingers. I activate my palm chakras, all of my chakras. I am in complete alignment. I am receptive to the universe. I am receptive to give and receive, okay? I have complete balance, okay? Here, balance is being restored back to my life. Balance is being restored back to my finances. Do whatever it is that you have to do. I am open to receive. I have an abundance of money in my bank account. I am not coming from a space of lack. Prosperity is my birthright. I am in tune with the universe. I am in tune with divine source. I block all negative energy. I block all negative energy, okay? I am money. I am successful. I am a business owner, okay? I am a millionaire. All of these I am affirmations are going to help you toward the end of the month for whoever this message is for okay it's very important that you're protecting yourself with your crystals with your um prayers with your spoken word your affirmations protect yourself okay Re be receptive to the universe to receive the positive vibes and the positive energy from the universe okay this is real y'all this is absolutely real we go from the nine to the ten we go from the 9 to the 10. It's here. It's like coins over there, coins over here, coins over here, head to toe. You know, you think uh, millionaire thoughts. You receive millionaire uh, payouts. You know what I'm saying? Hey! You receive millionaire payouts. Yes, you do, baby, because you are blessed. This reading is for you. Receive this energy that I'm sending you. I'm sending you this energy. You guys, everything is energy here. Money is energy. Do your visualizations. Profess your affirmations. Yell from the top of your lungs. Go somewhere. Get out in nature and be appreciative for where you are and what you have right now. Pull yourself into your awareness right now in the present moment. That's the only way you can receive what the universe truly has for you. Put out this blockage, this ten of sword energy, this three of sword energy, that heartbreak, this backstabbing, that lying, sneaky, cheating, whatever it is, let go of it. When you let go, you receive. And we let go of all negative energies, all things that are not meant for us, okay? Listen, y'all, I don't even want to pull another card because that was just so beautiful. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. The Empress, the Empress. We are pregnant. We're expecting miracles. We're expecting abundance. We're expecting blessings. We're expecting babies. Happy Mother's Day. We're expecting expectancy we're expecting greatness okay listen some of you guys are going back to school you're furthering your education you're ex establishing yourself in your career for some of you guys and some of you all are just embarking upon a completely brand new career a completely brand new way of living i am too i salute you kudos to you you guys let's do it together okay in through your nose out through your mouth Raise your elevation. Keep that vibration extremely high. That's the only way that the BS can fly right on past you, right? And everything else that's meant for you will come directly to you. I know it's easier said than done, but it's something that we have to do, all right? In order for us to elevate and receive what's for us. Nothing happens by accident or coincidence. Everything is destined to B. We got the two of wands coming out here, you guys. This is making a decision. We're moving forward. We are absolutely moving forward. And guess what? Guess who's going to try to rear that head? But you know what? We don't even give this card energy. All right? These are insecurities. These are fears. These are blockages. Do not let these insecurities, these fears, or these blockages stop you from receiving what the universe has for you. There is no such thing as the devil. There is only negative energy. And we need both to balance everything out, positive and negative. Just like your, the, um, the jumper cables. You need the positive and the negative energy to get that power to the battery, right? So let's crank on up, put this thing in gear, and 
and keep it going. I'm going to leave it right there, you guys. That's the card of Capricorn also. So just be a little, um, you know, cautious of your fears, your insecurities, or whatever, addictions, what have you, anything that's on the lower negative, on the lower vibe of the um, wheel of fortune, okay, the wheel of fortune is moving in your direction, all right, we're going to stay away from the lower end of the wheel of fortune, the lower vibration things, because we know if we think negative thoughts, that's what we're going to manifest, and we are in the business of manifesting greatness, greatness is you, I love you guys, this has been a beautiful experience, a beautiful moment, I'm so blessed for this beautiful platform, all right, open up those palms and receive your abundance all right you cannot receive with the closed head closed fist i know your mama your grandma someone taught you that along your path okay i'm just going to reiterate it all right we block all negative energy no negative energy can penetrate our magnetic fields because we are greatness we are co-creating our lives every day we are raising our vibrations and moving up to the fifth dimension all right I love you guys so much. I send you all of the peace, love, and light in the universe. High vibes, all right? Mwah. Namaste. Open up, receive, give, okay? Be blessed. Namaste.